Hey everybody, we're here at South by Southwest. I'm standing here with Richard Garriott, the man on a mission. I just saw this film. It's pretty amazing. I mean, the, the fact that you've been on all these amazing adventures and now you've had a chance to walk into space, second generation, first American to, to do a second generation, go into space, amazing. The film is amazing. Uh, I, I guess two questions that I had for you, if I had to come up with just two simple ones. What was the most frightening aspect of this entire journey, and what was the most amazing aspect of this entire journey? Well, you know, it's funny because I, I get asked the uh, the question about were you ever scared? You know, it comes up periodically, and uh, you know that statistically, launch and reentry are in fact, you know, compared to anything else you're doing, pretty dangerous. Yeah. Uh, but you don't feel it at all. You, I, there was never the places that were supposed to feel dangerous. Never, you're too busy. You don't you don't feel endangered. Uh, the only place that I would even describe as I felt this kind of uh, anticipation or fear of any kind was actually a couple of days before launch when you get in your spacesuit and you try, you fit in the actual launch vehicle for the first time fully packed with gear and you realize how dark, cold, and claustrophobic it really is going to be. And uh, But that's really just a, the one time getting in and you just kind of resign yourself to it uh, because uh, you know not only is it cold and cramped and dark, but you also logically figure out that if there is an emergency, you're just not getting out of this, if you know what I mean. So you just go, okay, hope there's no problem and move on. And from a, uh, you know, what's the greatest, most amazing part of it, just looking out the window back at the Earth is a stunning thing to do from the first time you look out the window all the way through the entire time you're there in space. It's just phenomenal. It was breathtaking even to watch it in the film. Now, now, not to get too crass, but there's a scene in the film where you say, I was told, wear a diaper and be ready to use it. Yeah. Did you have to use it? Uh, the actual line was, wear a diaper and plan to use plan it. Plan to use it. And you do. You do. And so, uh, yes, and, and in fact, uh, just to continue your thread of uh, uh, what are you willing to talk about directly, uh, they actually gave me a second diaper so you could practice the night before. Uh, just because you'll be lying on your back in a pretty uncomfortable position uh, using a diaper. And they're going like, you know, before you do it on board and you're in the middle of having to do complex work, you really might want to practice once on the ground just so you know what we're getting into. When you're inside the space station, there is stuff everywhere around you. I mean, there are wires, there are switches, all sorts of things. Did you ever accidentally bump into anything and uh, get worried about it? Well, you bump into stuff all the time. And in fact, uh, especially the first couple of days you're up there, you tend to kind of push up one wall and bounce on the other, push up that wall, bounce into this, and you do tend to collect debris falling from you behind, like camera lenses and wrenches and screwdrivers. Uh, anything that is, and that's a hassle, but it's not dangerous, uh, or you're not unplugging any experiment, experiments. They don't have regular like wall plugs in uh, on the space station. They're all socketed and turned and latched. And so there's very little risk of what I'll call bumping something loose that was really important. Uh, but it takes you a few days to learn how to fly through without collecting a pile of debris behind you. It's an amazing movie. It's called Richard Garriott, Man on a Mission. Where are you guys going next with this? Well, uh, this was the step one. So now we have, we've invited uh, you know a number of uh, uh, distributors here to this showing. Already from this showing, we've got requests now for showings in New York and in California. Good. Uh, we'll be doing those over the next coming week, and those are to sit down in front of uh, distri distribution and see what they think. So uh, the very first reviews are out. They're all you know nine out of ten kind of and better. And so you know. So far, everything's perfect, uh, but we're still very, very early into the process, so we'll see. The man is Richard Garriott. It's called Man on a Mission. Check it out, ladies and gentlemen. South by Southwest. Thanks, buddy. Thank you.